hi guys welcome back and thank you for your love and support to my channel today i have a plan to to talk about the procedures versus functions in pascal language okay and and uh, the difference between uh, global and uh, local variables let's get started we will open the uh, our project this is a copy of our template which we created okay so uh, this is just an empty uh, let me delete this one this is we don't need it anymore okay so we have uh, four functions which is based on these uh, item uh, buttons so you can see this one okay this is the event on the buttons and if i click on this one this will lead to me to this one so this is empty uh procedures okay so let's start at the our function uh, first function simple procedures so this is also a procedures okay but we want to write a, a different procedures okay Let, let's say why we want to do that let's say in this procedures we do something here okay but there is something uh, a piece of code which is very big and maybe that piece of code required over again and again so so write it again and again that's not make a sense so better uh, make a separate uh, procedure so any other functions or procedure want to access that he can do it so we don't need to write it again and again so let's uh, make one uh, procedures okay so this is our procedure same we will do begin and end okay so this is our procedure okay so what we want to do it okay when user click on this uh, button on this button it will run this procedures and it will uh, bring us the data what the address we will give it okay so let's type it so edt is status okay edd it's mean edit status so i give this is called edit okay t edit but i give him the name a prefix edt status okay so i am calling status dot text because i want to tag is i want to assign the text okay and how i want to do it okay so there is one uh, procedures uh, written inside the upa probe okay the library you can access from here is called get byte hex uh, hex edit but we want, we will going to uh, get this one today we're going to use this one okay it will bring us a word a word consists of two bytes okay from a particular uh, offset which we will provide it okay okay so get word hex added okay um, so it's need a offset and the second thing it's need a byte order either we need from left to right and or opposite so let's say we want left to right so better uh, let's say a dollar a dollar sign is whenever it's used is indicate the the uh, offset address inside the editor let me write the code when we will run it we will see that thing so double zero i wanted a, uh, a data from this offset and i want true because i don't want uh, i don't want to swipe apart i want in a normal way okay and uh, okay so so this this will bring us uh, the return of this data if we see is word okay and as we know that this only accept text text means string so we need to convert this function 
to a text so we can assign to our edit on the runtime. So how we can do that? There is another function called integer to hex. Okay. So if you go here and just uh, type integer to hex, uh, let me go to here. You see. So what it do it? It take it a value integer and we need to provide how many digit we want it from that value and it return a string this is whatever here is a returning value so here is a boolean value true and false okay so here is a uh, this this value is string okay so integer to hex close parentheses and this is the value we get it already value from this address okay now the second parameter how long we want it we know that this is a word so this is two bytes so we need to write uh, two uh, byte uh, close okay and and now we write this is independent functions and we will call these functions here okay so uh, let me put it this one and call this one okay so when user will click the button this one this will be called okay let's run this one first let's write it here value ff a a okay so i click it i get it so if i make let me close this one if i make it this one is false the data will be opposite the ff the first the a will become and the second will be ff okay so so this is a, like a swap order okay so this was our first functions let's give it an other function we will copy above and then paste it here but this procedure will require a parameters okay so th this was the simple procedure this is with parameters so a parameter is a of offset it will be integer okay so okay instead of a hard coded uh, address this time we will provide a offset here so a offset okay everything will be same but when we will call this uh, okay so we need to change a little bit because otherwise it will be complain okay so this let us write it by from okay so let's copy this one and we will call in our sanker procedures okay our this is procedure with parameters okay so here when we write it this time we it accept a integer value we need to provide a value okay let's say i provide it dollar 10 so i provide him an offset 10 this 10 will be stored here and this will be called here to get a value for us let's check this one So 10 is here if I write it let's say AADD so if I click here it will be AADD but if I call simple it will be 0 because this 0 is here uh, let write it here 1 2 3 4 okay so 1 2 3 4 is coming here so this is exactly a hex value which we converted from integer to hex okay Let's go back, stop, and 
now what we do it we will create a simple function so a function between a, uh, the difference between a procedure a function is procedures when we call from any procedures and other procedures procedure do a work and finish okay means he do his job and finish but a function is opposite when we call a function it's do some sort of calculation and return a result for us okay so let's do it now but if if we go here it show here as well a function okay so let's write a function let's copy this one this will be without any parameter functions so instead of procedure it will be function function okay so instead of using here let's use it here okay and here we will write the result so this is the way whenever we do a work inside a function and the result mostly we return with this parameter is called result result and we want to return a address okay okay so so this is our simple function procedures okay which this is a procedure from the button okay we will create a var get of set in integer okay so get offset okay so this is a variable is called a local variables and what is the difference between local and uh, is called global variable let's say this is var also and this is glo g for global of offset and it's also integer okay the difference between this one it can be used anywhere in this unit or any unit or even in this unit because why because we are calling the uh, the unit 2 in unit 1 so so this is a global variable which can be available wherever unit 2 is used or it's itself in unit 2 okay but this local variable this local variable is only available in this procedures only it cannot be called inside this procedure or i, I will I give you a demonstration just bear with me so we call our procedures Mm, ah, this one so instead of procedure we write it f and this one is a parameter less uh, functions we call this one okay so what will we do when a user will click we will call this function it will be jumped to here and it will return a offset just think like this is a long procedure there is a lot of calculations and this is the result which we want it to save in this variable this variable store integer address which we will be used here instead of the zero one we will use get of set this is my way of writing every word is a, a, a capital letter it's no need to be necessary but this is i how i write it so 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 this time to get word hex edit functions i give him a variable instead of giving a value like here like here we give it okay so so this this variable called this procedure will call this function and this function will return this address which will be saved here and will be called here okay and let me 
run this one and let's test this one. So we need to give it address here. Let's say E E A. -E. Okay. So if I press simple function, so we get it. Okay. And let's go back and let's write in our our functions with parameters okay so let's copy this one and paste here so it will be by okay but this will accept uh, offset okay or means anything you want it but we want to give this one an offset let's say a offset it will be integer okay and okay and what we want it when we get this the whatever the value we get here okay we want to add one inside okay okay so let's say we copy this exact code and we try to run it okay let's say this will be okay and because this function required us to give a value let's say we give him 10 okay so, so we give him 10 it will be added so the address what we will get store here will be 11 okay so just see here these variables belong to this procedure so if I try to call it here the our ID will be given error let's run it you see what is written unknown identifier or variable is not declared because these procedures don't know where this variable are so if we want to use a variable across a different procedures we need to use this one okay let's use okay let's use instead of this one so this is no a global variable this time if I run the function it will not complain so here we need to change also okay so we give him 10 so it will be ff aa but we give him 10 it's mean it will be from start from 11 so if I write ee 1 2 so if I run this function, you see it's bring me 11 from here. Okay, here this two byte. Okay, so this this is 10, this 11. So from 11 to AE we get it. Okay, so so we learn in these lectures the difference between procedures, simple procedure, procedures with the parameters functions function with parameters this you must and the difference between a local variable and a global variable okay uh, please uh, look to this code and try to change it as you like it and see how it respond okay i will put this code in the description you can download it thank you for watching the video and keep supporting me. Thank you so much.